Hi, I'm Marika Hahn, and I'm an artist in residence at Mount Sinai, Chelsea. I love to make flowers, and I make them out of coffee filters. So today I'm going to show you how to make hibiscus. Hibiscus are fun to make because they come in wonderful colors. So please join me. The supplies you'll need to make these beautiful hibiscus flowers are the colorants. I use liquid watercolors because I teach watercolor painting. Today we're going to use fuchsia, green, and orange. You can also use food coloring from a supermarket or a, any craft store. I like to use foam brushes. These are little one inch foam brushes and one brush for each color plus your glue is great. I like to keep uh, some water handy that the brushes can go from color or glue into water. Easy cleanup. I use, for this project, I use 24 gauge wire. Uh, the higher the number of the gauge, the softer and the more bendy. So the 24 gauge is quite bendable and that's, we want it bendable because I'm going to wire each petal and that makes it super bendy like this. These are also good for the stems. So we have 24 gauge wire, we have number four cone filters, coffee filters. These are white, of course, to take the color, and a scissor and glue. Uh, Elmer's glue all is great, and Aileen's clear tacky glue, glue is great too. I'm going to show you how we color them. Okay, so I like to have one coffee filter set aside just to test my color. I know these colors are all good because I've tested them, but you want to make sure if it's coming right out of a bottle that the color is the one you want it to be. The colors should be actually brighter than you think you need because they will get much lighter when they dry. You color the front and with the foam brush it's super fast and you color the back. I'm using parchment paper right now on my surface. It uh, is great to let them dry on there, and you can also just wipe it. So we have fuchsia, we have green, front and back. It's going to take about 20, 25 minutes for it to dry naturally. If you want to do the project quickly and you don't want to wait for it to dry, in two or three minutes, it'll be dry with a hair dryer. I lay them on parchment paper on a baking sheet, and I'm now going to do the orange. As I mentioned in my little welcome, you can do these hibiscus in so many different colors. Here I've done them in orange with a fuchsia center and fuchsia with an orange center but they come in yellows and pale pinks. Hibiscus are beautiful. So now that my colors are painted on the coffee filters, I'm gonna set them aside to dry. I'm gonna wipe the surface. Parchment paper makes it really easy. I'm gonna show you how to cut them. Take my scissor. There's a little crimp edge. I'm going to cut that off. You're going to need two filters that are painted fuchsia or bright pink, your choice. Fold it in half, press, fold it in half again, and press. With two filters, you will get the five petals that you need for each hibiscus. Come around the top. You want to use the whole filter. You want the petals as large as you can get them. Come around the side. There's a little crimp at the bottom. Cut that off. When you open them up, you can round it a little bit if you want. You can put a, a little extra squiggle in there if you want on the sides. But basically, this is the shape. And I mentioned that we want to wire them so that they're really bendable. I'm going to take each wire. So I have three wires because we have five petals. Cut them in half. Before I wire it, you can see that I've drawn some lines. With this, I, I used a colored pencil. You could use a marker, you could use a crayon. You want to just add a little detail to the leaves, the petals, excuse me. 
So you can see, I'm just very quickly going to draw some lines on the petal. If I want, I can take a crayon, just darken it towards the bottom. Okay. I'm going to fold it in half, give it a good press, bring my glue over. I put the glue right down the center. Don't worry if it gets on the petal, it dries clear. There you go. I'm going to put the wire right in the center, right up to the top. Make sure the wire is really covered in glue. I'm going to fold it over the wire. The wire is right in the center. Push down on the wire. Make sure the wire is right, really in there. Fold it back. This one had a little too much glue, but that's okay. You can wipe the excess glue off. There you go. It's done. I have these little bottles that I get when I buy seasonings and spices, and they have holes in the top. It's great for putting your wires to dry. So now I'm going to take the one that I just did and put it in here to dry. And I'm going to show you how to do the stamen while that's drying. Going to take another stem that's going to be our center stem and we're doing fuchsia so the center of the fuchsia is orange so i'm going to cut a little rectangle from the orange filter i'm going to make a little fold in it I'm just going to wrap the top of the wire, say one, two, maybe two and a half inches. No measuring, no measuring, no templates. This is fun. I'm going to put glue where I folded it. I'm going to take my wire and not go quite all the way to the top. Fold it in half. Again, I'm trapping the wire and just roll it. That's all you need to do. I'll set that aside. Now I'm going to show you how to make these fringy things on the stamen. I'm going to cut a few strips, about half an inch. I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to cut the fringe. You want to cut the fringe, cut the end off that's not straight. Okay. Be careful not to cut it all the way to the bottom. Stay about a quarter of an inch. Just stay safely away from the bottom or you'll cut the little piece off. When you get almost to the end, turn it. Let's do that with another piece of orange that we cut. Open it up. Fluff up the fringe. Do that with the other piece. Fold it in half. Oh, there's a little piece that didn't get colored. Just cut it off. Fold it in half and half again. Fringe. Turn it. Open it. Now we have lots of fringes to work with. Okay. So I'm going to take the stamen that I just glued the orange to. Wrap it around. Okay. I'm going to take the fringe. Put some glue all the way down, the part that does not have the fringe. 
the bottom part of the fringe and start wrapping my wire. And just keep going around and around until your whole, your whole piece is wrapped in fringe. I'm going to set that aside because I have one that's already wrapped. And this is the beautiful orange one, nice, nice and dry. When the fringe is dry, you can fluff it up. Now I'm going to show you the petals that I've done. These are five finished petals. They have lines in them. And because they're wired, you can bend them. And that's the key thing about a hibiscus. The leaves roll. And so it's wonderful when they're wired. I have five and they overlap. As soon as you get them around the stem, just give it a little twist. Bend it back, wrap it, give it a little twist. And you can move them, even when you're working with them, you can move them around. There we go, that's our last one. And now you're probably wondering, what's the green for? I will show you. I'm gonna put my flower down, it's done. Take the green. Cut a strip, glue. You want to wrap the bottom in the green. It holds it together and it also camouflages all the twists that you've made with the wires. So you can wrap it right down to where you think you're going to have a vase. If you don't, excuse me, if you don't want to buy the wire, if you don't have the wire, you can also make a hibiscus without the wire. These are not wired. There's no wire in there. And the way that I got them to have some motion and curl is I took a petal. Let me just quickly cut an orange petal for you. And I'll show you how to make the end curl. All you do is take a pencil, roll it around the end, push the end in, you have the curl. And then you would just glue it around the stamen. And that's exactly what I've done here. I glued it, I put five and I glued a stamen around it. So there you have it. Beautiful hibiscus. I hope you've had fun. Thank you.